potatoes. Oh, I woke up blind this morning. Blind as a three-cornered hat. Blind as a doll's balls. Don't ask me. Don't ask me about it again. Susie is a, a musical troubadour. You know, she's a 21st century uh, troubadour that uh, uses music to, still, to tell you know, variations on the same story. I think Susie is looking for something, something unexpected. Adventures. She's uh, Susanna's alter ego, I guess. She's uh, the character that uh, Susanna takes on. Could be Little Red Riding Hood, but it's not red, you know, so. She likes to she likes a challenge and she's very curious and um, she's she's in, she's in a search for something and she's looking she's looking for something. Susie's a storyteller and a really good one. Uh. She probably is a lady who who loves to to uh, look in a mirror, but then she finds. Uh, a lot of different visions on herself. Um, she's definitely somebody on the journey. and she's a traveller. She's been to places and she collects stories. Listen to the words. Cain and Abel. Chicken bone. Umbrella. Umbrella. Sea salt. Sea salt. Mermaid. Mermaid Road Road Clack Don't make men listen to no old wives' tales Old baggy tales with no rope to bag them Don't start no story without no rope to hold it together You ain't got no rope I composed the beginning and I wanted to start out with something that had text so that you knew that through the course of the story, there would be voices. Um, and I wanted to create something which was, on one hand, uh, very open. You need maybe a pocket watch or something, and a kick in the shin. Oh, oh, you heard me now. Yeah, a hard kick in the shin. Because the tears of the world are a constant quantity. Whenever some sorry ass dog stops wailing, another starts up. Just like your questions. Don't ask me no more questions. I ain't got no story to sell you. I ain't no non-profit profit neither. So I, I, I try to make something open for the, the next parts of the, of the piece or story uh, could develop. How's the first word in Howard Hughes? How's the first word in How about closing the door behind you?
I wanted to write something that was bright, a nice dawn rather than a, a bleak uh, sunset or something like that. So. My chapter is uh, the point where you come to the fork in the road and you have to choose where to go and you have to make that decision but the decision's rather confusing. The character of this music is really about sort of drifting shadows, a sort of movement of shadows and the way light and dark kind of flicker between each other. I wanted to tell the, 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 the nightmare frustration. Part of the climax is the part that things go wrong. There is a, uh, a part in my personality who likes uh, static music, situations. So, uh, uh, music without development. I read a poem once about a swing. I used to love to swing when I was five. When I was four. I was four. I think it was later. Anyway. Uh, living in itself, and that can be, that, that doesn't tell that the music is happy, that it's static. But I think that happiness in, in, in itself is a static situation because happiness is not interesting for other people. What's he grumbling about? This was the happy ending. You wind up falling asleep in a rocking chair, and then you're gone. It could have turned out worse. A lot worse. First, I think, I think about how, how I perceive, uh, how I feel about tragedy and uh, for me it's natural to express tragedy with stillness and calm feeling.
what else you need to tell a story? You need a big coat of broken mirrors. A coat of shadows and light. All pieces take ideas from each other. The music is about what, what you feel and what, how the tension moves and how, um, how, how you experience the story. Susanna is an incredible player. She's just an, an amazing virtuoso on, on her instrument. I really think she's awesome. She's echt, she's a really excellent musician. She plays with such attitude, and it's fantastic. Susanna is a, she's a gift to composers. But the other thing that I think is special about her is that she has a very intimate, open, and um, I'd say generous stage personality.